welcome back. So today we're with a friend and we are in Sienaville. So if you hear a lot of like waves crashing, that's what's going on. We're at the beach. It's right by a brown coffee. It's been like such a struggle to find a cafe or anything cute here. But uh, besides the water, the water's amazing. So we're gonna show you around a little bit and see in the bill. It was only like a three and a half hour bus ride from Compton, so super close. So let's see. Bye. Is it too hot? Mm, okay. Okay, go for it. <laughs> it is like chewy, chewy. <laughs> is it good though? Oh, good. Okay, so now we're on our way to another beach. This one was just for like, it was by the restaurant that we ate at. But this next one, we're gonna actually get in the water this time. So, stay tuned. There's not as many people over there. So we liked it when we went yesterday. Hopefully it's the same situation today. Hopefully it's not crowded, so it should be fun. So we made it to the beach that I like. We came to here yesterday, but if you look, it's pretty empty. So this is probably the spot to come to. I think soon this might be something big time because there's like all these buildings and there's nothing in there just yet. But probably in a year or two, it's gonna be popping over here. So, but for now, it's nice and quiet. Okay, so we made it to Sienaville and today we are taking a boat to go over to Korom, which is one of the islands that they have here um, off the, I believe, the west coast of Cambodia. So um, the ticket for the boat is $25 round trip. Um, you can leave in the morning, come back in the afternoon. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll show you what the island looks like when we get over there. So it's actually not a bad ride over. Uh, it was super fast, like 45 minutes to get here. And then we asked the driver of the boat to just drop us at the Long Set Beach. And it's so pretty. I'm not really a beach person at all, but this one could totally make me one. So <laughs> um, that's, I think all I'm gonna be doing is just relaxing because I don't know how to swim. But my friend really wanted to come to the beach. So uh, we are here, but it should be nice. I mean, you can see around me like, just stunning. I'm not gonna show you everyone because everyone's not clothed in a way that maybe they want to be broadcasted. So, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's gonna be nice. So we'll just be here for the day. Uh, we came this morning and then we'll go back in the afternoon. So stay tuned.
Ortiz pizza. It's really good. Prices are a little, they're okay. Um, cocktail is five dollars, but it's good. And they're not skimping on alcohol, so that's good. Pizza is ten dollars, so it's a little pricey, but it's convenient because it's right in front of the ocean, so. or whatever body of water that is. <laughs> Today is the second day in Kampong Sound. We are on like a mountain, I think, going up to a waterfall called Kabal Chai. So let's go and see. It is the dry season, so you probably won't be able to see a whole lot of water, but it's still pretty in its nature, so we're gonna go take a look. above the waterfall where the water is flowing from. It's damped off right now because it's the dry season but they're just still allowing some of the water to flow. It's not as high as usual, um, um, or at least that's what my friends have said. It's really beautiful but the dirt roads are like red so when we got up to the top we are like all covered in red dust. But it's so fun. It's really beautiful to be in nature. You only have to pay to park your motorbike the thousand, one thousand real I believe. Um, besides that it's free. It's really nice if you just want to go to enjoy nature. Okay, so that's the end of the Sienaville and Korong trip. We're going back by sleeper bus. It's it's a little <laughs> tight, but it's good. I think if I had booked the single ones, it might have been easier. But I didn't know yeah, because but the single ones really small. You see? Yeah, it's really small. But I was reading online because it was saying if you didn't book, like I want us to be close to each other, but you could be randomly put with anybody and it's like it doesn't matter if it's a guy or girl, they don't care, you just be together. So I was like let me just book us together and and you can book two, two single ones. No, no but only two, then like you can book this as a one person. Oh, me. then you have to pay both. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like I want to pay both pay if I knew. If I had known, yeah, yeah. if we knew. I'd probably definitely suggest if you're going back by a sleeper bus, yep. book the two. So it would be like 30 bucks yep. for both seats, but it would be worth it definitely. So we will see you all next time. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. It's been a while. I'm gonna try to be back. I'm gonna try to be back regular, so I'll see y'all. But if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you felt. Have you ever taken a sleeper bus? Did you like it? What did you think? And I will see you all next time. Let's get it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bye.